Hi, my name is Lucy. I'm the founder of LucyCorsetry.com as well as Lucy's Corsetry on YouTube. I'm also the editor of the book Solace, 101 Uplifting Narratives about Corsets, Wellbeing, and Hope. Thanks to Adrian for inviting me to speak for a few minutes about my book and about corsets in context of alternative forms of therapeutic bracing. In the past four years, I've received nearly 2,000 emails from individuals regarding the benefits of corsetry, and nearly a fifth of those have been from people sharing their experience with corsets helping with their hypermobility and EDS, second only to those with work-related back injuries. Those who have contributed their stories to my book have described how corsets have reduced events of subluxation of their vertebrae, ribs, and hips. The goal of the Solace project is to start a conversation about therapeutic applications of corsets and encourage more open communication between corset makers, health professionals, and their patients, so more people can be assessed for eligibility for a medical corset in an environment that is free of negative bias. Many modern garments and posture devices are descendants of corsets. Modern back braces, post-operative and postpartum compression bands, weightlifting belts, and even kidney belts for motocross riders, these are all rooted in corsetry. There's now a thin line between a customized textile therapeutic brace and a high-quality custom corset. Corset makers are essentially independent artists, but many receive training from health professionals to understand how to contour around an individual's rib cage to allow for natural inhalation, how to support a neutral curve to the lumbar spine, how to encourage the correct tilt in the pelvis to avoid injury, and how to avoid inappropriate compression over superficial nerves and blood vessels to create a comfortable device that supports yet doesn't restrict. We can now combine time-tested custom tailoring techniques with modern materials in innovative ways to make corsets thinner, more lightweight, longer lasting, more breathable, more customizable, and more comfortable to the individual. All of these factors together, a corset's customizability, comfort, effectiveness, and ability to be both elegant and discreet, it will not only provide a practical therapeutic device, but one that patients will want to wear. A brace suited to each person's individual needs and personal tastes could potentially improve patient compliance and encourage faster rehabilitation overall. Some doctors are now recruiting independent corset makers to provide their patients with long-term structural support for short-term stabilization after injury and even for deep pressure therapy to help with anxiety and depression. And a few medical insurance companies are even starting to cover the cost of corsets. This may help make custom corsets more accessible to people who can benefit from them, as well as keep these independent artists in business. It is well time that properly trained corset makers are recognized for their expertise in orthopedic technology and medical orthoses. Thanks again to Adrian for inviting me to speak tonight, and if anybody has any questions about my book Solace or about therapeutic corsetry, feel free to contact me at lucycorsetry.com.